Hi there and welcome to Mermaid Fingers. Today we're going to be, as you've probably guessed by the title, decorating an envelope. This is actually brown, although in the light it looks quite white. Um, today you're going to need, of course, an envelope, a blue pen, whoops, flying pen, blue pen, pencil, just a normal pencil, it may look green but it's not, black biro, a, a rubber, not an orange rumba, rubber, um, and a ruler, this one has lollipops on it. And also you're going to need a bit of paper just to draw the first draft of it on there. Now, let's get started so we don't babble on about it. Um, okay, right. First of all, you're going to draw a roughly the same size. If I were you, I would do this in pencil, but just to make it clearer on the camera, I'm going to do this in black biro. Draw a square roughly the same size as your envelope. You might want to draw around your envelope, but I'm going to just roughly do it. I would say mine's about that size. Um, and I'm probably going to do a fish just for ease. So I'm going to start off by drawing like that, drawing like that. So it's almost like, kind of like an unfinished pyramid thing. Join those up. So we're looking at that. And then just do a kind of round, rounded tail, two small fins down here. Get that right, Darcy. And a slightly bigger fin up here. So that's a very rough fish, but to be fair, it will do. You might want to spend a bit more time on it. I don't have much time. Um, if you're doing exactly the same as me, which you probably will be, um, well, as it's in the title, um, you will want to draw a fin here, like so. And then you'll want to draw with your pencil, of course. So this is using a biro now, if I were you. You want to just draw a pencil line down there and a pencil line down there. Just to mark out where the scales are going to roughly be. I don't know whether you can see that. Yeah, now you can. Okay, so first of all you're going to draw down like that, down like that, down like that, down like that down like that and so on until you get to the toe so so far you got that just make sure it's all the way up to the head so we're like that then you draw coming down from these exactly the same but longer So we've got that and then you finish up by doing these ones but leave a nice gap at the bottom so you have about that much of a gap if you need to pause at any time feel free because of course I'm going quite click quickly now just finish that up, do it all the way up to the mouth, so you've got that. Now you just want to fill in a few lines on your tail and fins. And you want to just, just roughly shade the tops and the corners. of these fins the shadow is probably going to be 
coming from up here. So these are going to be more dense. For this line marking, we're using kind of just strokes of um, lines. So we're literally just going in the corner, making it nice and layered up to make it look like we've got a shadow. And do that there. Put all the way across. So you've got that. Now don't forget the ones on the head. And don't forget your mid-tones. Now I'm not going to do too much detail on here. Because of course this is only our draft. So that's roughly what we've got. So now we're going to take our envelope and we're going to take another bit of paper. Oh, I forgot. You need a pair of scissors and some glue. Okay, so you take another bit of paper. Let me just tear some out of my pad. Depending on the size of your um, envelope, you're going to need a decent bit of paper which your envelope fits on nice and easily. Now, we're going to put our envelope on and we're going to take our black pen and just draw around that so we get an exact size. And then we're just going to want to go in, um, I think I normally do about 5 um, millimetres. Actually, don't bother with di doing that because it's, it's just too complicated. Now you want to cut out your outline. Turn it around. Okay, so you now have your pretty much the same size. Now I just need to trim this up a bit, and you need to take your glue. And paste the whole envelope. Yes, the envelope, not the piece of paper. With glue. I, I'm i using a prick, prick stick because that's the only thing that I can find. So you have basically a glazed in glue um, envelope. Now, don't forget to put the lid on your glue. And you take this. But my advice is to actually put that aside and draw on your design first. And then if it goes wrong, then you don't have to start on a new, whole new thing. But instead, you just have to start a new paper. So, of course, you've got to draw your same design. Oh. Um, big fin like that, two small fins like that, okay and now you draw in that, your eye, make sure you can see your eye quite well, otherwise it will like become less obvious as to be an eye, so don't forget your gill slash bill thing I don't know and um, then you take your pencil of course 
and you want to just sketch three lines actually just two so you have pretty much exactly the same as what you did have so um, now you take your pen back and you fill in your details basically copying your draft your draft was so that you knew what to do but if you had a clear picture of it in your mind you don't have to do the draft but I did it so that I could show you guys what to do if you didn't and then just fill in there Now, for me, for the lighter tones, I'm going to kind of, well, for some of this, I'm going to use blue. So I'm just going to go over here, where I've done the black, so it's in blue. Now, copy in the shading in blue. You might want to turn all of yours blue, which is what I'm going to do. All of the scales are going to be blue for me. In this case, you might want a felt tip pen if you can't be bothered to kind of take the time to fill it in with a biro or a um, ballpoint pen. But just to make it easy, I'm going to use this because I've already shown you it. Don't forget to go all the way to the edges because trust me, it doesn't look as good. Okay, now when you go onto the next line, just leave a little gap so that you can see that it's a new set of scales. Otherwise it's going to be like quite confusing and it will look like you've just done a load of colouring in. Just so you can see what I've been doing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you don't really need to see my drawing at the moment. Because, yeah. Um, once again, if you need to pause this and rewind, I'm sorry I'm going quite quick. I'm just in a bit of a rush. So, yeah. Make sure you're leaving a gap all the time. And make sure on the other ones you're going to right, right to the bottom of the scale, which I keep on forgetting to do. So pretty much we've got that so far. And now just keep on filling that in, making sure you're leaving a gap. Just enough so you can make out where each line is. Don't forget the one, the scales that are just on the head part. You don't really need to leave a gap here because, of course, it's separated by your gill. <laughs> so you have that. Now you need to not forget these ones and you might want to do a different pattern on that so I'm going to do some dots and a tip is so when you're doing dots to put it on top of another pad so it doesn't make really annoying sounds now just to do the head bit I'm probably going to do dots as well because it might look quite nice I'd say it's kind of like when you do dots it kind of gives it a bit of a kind of texture if you can see that yeah there we are um, comment below 
um, what you did, whether you did a fish just like me, whether you actually just changed your mind and used um, the method that I used for the kind of envelope, but you did your own um, version of it. So don't forget to fill in the white spaces with dots. So your end result will pretty much look like that. Focus. There we are. So now you can put your pad or something away. And you can draw a few little background things. So I'm going to draw a bubble. I'm going to do two or three of them, just to show he's in water, that he's not just floating through the sky. So you have that. Now you might want to just sign it, so I'm going to go. Signed it as your own piece of artwork. Now, you might want to add a few more. I'm just going to add a few stars. Just add that one in. Okay. Now you have that. So you take your envelope, the glue might have dried out by now, so you might want to go over that one more time. <laughs> what I find is, when you have quite a small bit of paper and it's quite flimsy and stuff, I prefer to glue the thing that I'm gluing it onto, unless it's exactly the same, then I just I pick my one that I'm going to do. And then it doesn't get kind of crumpled up. So, using it using an envelope it's two bits of paper pretty much or two layers of paper so it's a bit, bit better now you take your envelope you line it up making sure that you've got it exact and then you just press it down move it along a bit to where you need it to be and take your fingers and no, put your hands together and put it in so you end up with your own little decorated envelope. Turn it around, open it up, and you have your letter inside, which we don't actually have because this is just to show you guys. So I hope, oh, put it up the right way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed making a little fishy. Um, hello, there's my face, annoying person. Um. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, I don't know whether you heard it earlier in it, on in the video. I said um, comment what you used, whether you did exactly the same and you did the fish, or you did something else. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry, it was quite a long video today. Hopefully, it will upload. If it did, I'm sure you will know. So. Um, Thank you for watching Mermaid Fingers. Bye.